Hi, I'm Kath from Raising Happy Chickens and in today's session of Chicken Chat we're going to look at how to introduce chickens to a new style of waterer. So today's question was sent in by one of my Chicken Digest newsletter readers, Dorothea. And Dorothea asks, have you got a tip about how to get chickens used to the type of waterer that you have in your new video, please. I have a lovely waterer like that, and I've tried a lot of things already. Butter, butter with mealworms, to get them used to it. But they've refused steadfastly. What can I do? That's a great question. Thanks for sending it in, Dorothea. So this is the type of waterer that Dorothea is talking about. It's very straightforward, very simple to use. It's a nipple waterer and it consists of an empty bottle of water or soda that you have available together with a nipple attached to the end of it. And those are very easily obtainable on Amazon, for example. What we should look at first, though, is what's the advantage of having waterers like that? Why not just use a bowl? Well, if you've ever hatched your own chicks, you'll know why. If you put a bowl of water in a brooder, what you'll find is that very quickly the chicks will kick their bedding into it and it will become a soggy mess. So if bedding gets wet and humidity stays around the brooder, that can be a real problem for baby chicks. The danger of getting respiratory illness, for example, is heightened. The other problem with just having an ordinary bowl of water in a brooder is that the chicks can quite easily fall into it and it doesn't take much depth for the chicks to drown. The answer to that, of course, is just to put some pebbles in it, the kind of pebbles that you get to put in vases, for example. That will make sure that if the chicks do fall in, then the water isn't very deep and they have a chance of getting out. The third issue with just using a bowl is that chickens actually swallow liquid by using gravity. And so the way that they get liquid into their body is simply by raising their necks and allowing gravity to let the liquid flow down into their stomachs. It's not a problem for chickens with a bowl. They can just scoop it up and then put their heads back to drink. It just makes it easier for them if they have a feeder which is raised slightly above their heads so that when they drink they already have gravity on their side. The benefit of nipple waterers then is that they hang. They hang at chick head height slightly above their beaks so that they have to raise their head a little to drink from it. They don't get dirty so when they're hanging there's no chance of chicks or chickens kicking their bedding or mud or anything else into the drink, so it keeps the drink very clean. So then, back to Dorothea's question. How actually do we get chickens used to using this kind of waterer? Well, the first thing to remember is that chickens are frightened by almost anything that's new to them. They regard it with great suspicion because, let's be honest, they have to be very careful that it's not going to kill them. So chickens who've never been used to this kind of drinker before will inevitably regard it with some suspicion. The way I get them used to it is by starting very early. So always in my chick brooder, as soon as the chicks go in from the incubator to the brooder, they'll have the nipple drinker to drink from. Putting them into the brooder for the first time, I lift them in gently. And before I put them down on the floor, I tap their beaks very gently against the nipple. That releases some drops of water onto their beak and they know that that's where their water supply is to be found. Chicks are actually quite clever. They will remember where it is. And if some don't, then there will be some leaders in the little brooder flock who will remember and who'll show the rest the way. So, if you want to introduce your chickens to it, start them young. All you need to do then is increase the bottle size as the chicks grow into chickens. 
What if you've not had chicks though? What if you've bought in some adult chickens? How do you get them used to a nipple waterer when they've probably been used to just dipping their beaks into a bowl? That's actually more difficult. If they don't use the nipple waterer straight away, just leave it hanging there for a while and see whether they come to investigate it. Because of course, as soon as they investigate it, they'll realise that that's where water comes from. So that's the first step. What happens if none of them will use it? Well, Dorothea's tried everything that normally chickens would love, and none of that's worked. I've been quite lucky. I've actually found that usually there's one hen in the flock who will use it, and others will then copy. What if that just doesn't work? Well, the only thing you can do then, really, is to leave it there, but also to make sure that your flock has other ways of getting their water. There's nothing at all wrong with having bowls of water around your run, and particularly when the weather's very warm, you need to make sure that they have water available at different points in the run. You really don't want them to have to expend energy to find it. I prefer the nipple feeders because they're much easier to use and they don't need changing as often. But if I introduce adults into my flock who simply won't use the nipple waterer, then yes, of course I use them. I use anything that means my chickens will stay hydrated. So I hope this session of Chicken Chat has been useful. If you have a question that you'd like to ask me, please do feel free. The way to do it is to follow the link which is in the description underneath the video. For my Chicken Digest newsletter readers, all you need to do is reply to one of my newsletters. It's been a pleasure, as always, to be with you, and I look forward to our next session of Kath's Chicken Chat. Thank you for watching, and I hope this week and every week that all your chickens are happy ones.